Welcome to our grade 6 modules. We will be going through four different sets of modules and each module will consist of two chapters. So let's begin our learning journey with module 1 which starts with chapter 1 and it's about algebra. So chapter 1 lesson 1 is using letters to represent numbers. Mm -hmm. So this is technically an introduction to algebra. So this is not the real algebra yet, but the kids will be introduced to. So which means uh, we need to know expressions. Okay, so I'll write a few. X more than Y. Okay, so we need to be consistent. So when it says X more than Y, that means we're adding X to y. Okay, so uh, most of us will probably write this down as x plus y, which is equivalent in statement. But in reality, we're not helping our kids when we write x plus y, where the statement says x more than y. So that means you're adding x to y. Okay, now the reason for why we need to be consistent is when it's less than, you can't switch the order. So that's why it's best to write it as you read it. So which means that next expression that we need is x less than y. So if it's x less than y, that means we take away x from y. Okay, we will also need a times b. Okay, so this is a not an expression but a statement. a times b. Now, since we're now doing algebra, it's best not to use x as a symbol for times. So which means from here on out, we want to write that as a, b. Okay, similarly, a divided by b. So since we're going into algebra already, this expression should be written as a fraction as we have learned in the past. So all division problems in grade 5 we learned can be written as a fraction. Okay, so which means we want to be consistent. So that's the key for success in this grade level. We want to be consistent. So these are the things that we want to put in our minds and we need to make sure that the kids and when we teach the kids, we're using the same symbols. Okay, so our lesson or our exercises comes from several pages, uh, starting with page 8. So the pages that we will be going over are pages 8, 10, 12, and 14. Okay, so starting with page 8. Okay, working with these problems, starting with page 8, all the instructions would say give the algebraic expressions for each of the following. So I wrote it down just once. So if we look at this, it says add 5 to x. So that means we're adding 5 to x. So as we read, we should write. Okay, so here it says 3 more than p. So this is letter C. 3 more than P. So 3 more than P. Okay, in page 10 to B with the same instructions, it says subtract 7 from Z. So that means we're taking away 7 from Z. Okay, in letter D of the same number, it says W less than 20. So W less than 20. So minus W to 20. If we look at page 12, 3C, it says four groups of B. So when we write that down, that could be 4 times B or, as I said earlier, it's better to write it as without the X because it might mislead that the students will think of it as a variable rather than a multiplication sign. Okay, which means here, I'm going to write it as the product of 8G 
8 and G, I'll write it as 8G. So I won't write, you won't see me write for the rest of the lessons, you won't see me write the 4 times G, times B anymore. I'll write it straight to 4B. So similarly here, I'll go straight to 8G. Okay, in page 14, 4B says divide N by 7. So if we read, that means N divided by 7. Okay, but as I said earlier, what we want to do is make it so that it's N over 7. Okay, so again, moving forward, if it says divide, we'll make it a fraction. Okay, so which means if we look at this, it says divide the sum of R and 11 by 4. So that means that will be R plus 11 over 4. That concludes lesson 1 of chapter 1. See you in the next lesson.